Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Board Game Heaven Talks Accessories and in this episode I'm taking a look at the Folded Space Organizer for Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition. And as you know this is a really big box with a lot of components so let me show you what you get with this organizer. I'll briefly show you how to put it together and then I'll store all the components inside, show you what goes where and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so the folded space man, folded space organizer for Mansions of Madness, which is a large box with lots of components. So you're gonna be building a large organizer. So here's the leaflet with the instructions and all the sheets that you get, how it is put together. Instructions here per tray. So let's just go ahead and take these out. And being foam core, it is of course very light and about five millimeters thick. So that's a nice and sturdy material. Uh, let's see, so sheet 1A, do they have numbers on the sheets? Nope, they don't. So you just have to kind of recognize them. So if I start with this little tray there, uh, I'm gonna have to find a tray that looks like this, which is not this one. These have these things that I see here. So that's uh, B1 and B2. Again, yes, all right, I'll put these two to the side. And I got one with some bigger uh, holes there. That's this probably. So that's C1 and C2, and I think this is the one I need, has the little thing over there, yep, that's that's the one I need. So I need to take all of this out, twice, and they're mirror images, so I'm going to have to put them together in a mirror image. These sheets are the same, of course, but you can put them together either way, so then you simply... Uh, push them out the parts that you need and it's very simple you can just push and there they go they're they're fully cut through and through so uh, that's absolutely a piece of cake which is handy and nice because often with wooden inserts as you may have seen in my previous videos that is a bit more work uh, depending on how thick the material is and um, yeah this is just very easy it's also very light but you do have to be careful because thin parts can of course easily bend uh, like you know if you're not careful you might just bend it and you get creases that's uh, one thing to be careful of when using foam core so what i do then is i kind of check the instructions and uh, already put it together without using glue just to see which part goes where and then this goes this is symmetrical yeah and I sometimes look at what's printed on it because it does say folded space here and there I don't know if you can see that but these sheets do, do have the logo printed and I kind of want that to be on the inside so the outside of the box is just plain gray and then you'll have these Oh yeah, these without a notch, they go here in the middle. So that goes there. And the ones with the notch, of course, go on the outside there. And then I have this piece left, which goes here. And I can already, well, <laughs> almost pick it up and just shake it. Yeah, this uh, it's still a bit, you have to glue it, of course. But it's already rather sturdy, just like that. So then when I build the other one, I'm going to have to do that in mirror image. So let me just push these out. So, all right, there we go. So, see, because I couldn't make it like that exactly the same, but the instructions tell you to flip it and make the mirror image 
so do pay attention to the instructions and then this goes here and this goes here does this have text a little bit that goes there like that and then these two go inside so there we have the mirror image of this interesting so that's these two trays so i just put one to the side and then you take some simple pva glue the white kind of uh simple hobby glue and an old brush don't use your fancy paint brushes obviously and just put a bit in some container or a little cup like this um i do like to put something underneath it so it stays on its edge uh, so the glue doesn't spread around and i can easily grab it so i'll just take my my knife here and i'll just put it on there right so and then you simply apply little dabs of glue to the uh, recesses of the parts you're gluing you don't have to use too much and the foam in the um, foam core the core <laughs> will um, kind of absorb the glue and this this glue will dry uh, transparently so i'm putting a little bit in the recesses here too and I actually should have <laughs> I should have done the bottoms first. So let me start with that before I glue this in. Now don't worry, it doesn't glue uh, it doesn't dry that fast. But uh, yeah, this needs to go first. <laughs> and should some glue uh, come out between the corners because you might have used a little bit too much in spots. Don't worry, you can just wipe that off with your finger or with a piece of paper and wash it off easily. So a little bit here in the recesses and do use some kind of mat. You don't want glue on your table or tablecloth or whatever. So there we go. This is the front part that has the notch for this. So then I can take this one and check to see. Oh, I didn't. Yes, this doesn't matter. So there we go. All right. And you can do this pretty fast. It's very relaxing work i think and uh yeah it just fits together so easily it's not as tight as with uh, wooden inserts so uh, you can do it fast and it's quite enjoyable and i always like to you know like seeing how it comes together uh, how the designer kind of well designed it how it how it was engineered because right now I'm just building a little tray with three components and a little thing here and I have no idea how that's gonna work <laughs> so uh, it'll be interesting to see how to fill everything all the components into these trays and how that will organize the box it's nice we have some finger holes here so i'm assuming tokens perhaps and this goes in here and this looks doesn't look like a divider that should come out so i'm gonna just glue that sometimes you'll have card boxes that do have dividers that you can randomly place uh, wherever you want to uh, you know hold cards but i think this 
is probably for components. Maybe they've shown it on the bag. They usually tell you, so tray 1 A and B, it's what I'm making right now. It's for fire, drift, barricade, passage tokens, and action tokens and dice. Oh, that's tray 2, that's a different one. So that's, yeah, fine, tokens, it is. So then the final piece. And as you can see, it's super easy. It's super easy to put together. All it takes is a little bit of time and some PVA glue. And that's really all you need. And there you go. There is one component glued together. And then you just leave it. Moving on to the next one. So I will continue putting these trays together. I mean, it's, it's simple enough, you get the point. They indicated in gray the parts you need for each individual component. So that's very clear. And here they indicated which trays hold what components. So I'll build, build it, put all the stuff in, and then I'll one by one place them back in the box and show you how that fits. All right, see you in a bit. One thing I just wanted to mention, it's a bit of a nerdy thing, <laughs> but I was putting these together and I had punched a couple of these boards and this is the same board. And they used the same parts for different trays. So I've got this tray, which is pretty straightforward traits that one over there three compartments and it uses this bottom which is the same as this one right but this is used for a different tray this is a taller tray with different uh, kind of dividers so I was putting this together and I was thinking okay so the notches here and notches there notches here everything stays into place nicely and then i was putting this here and i thought so why didn't they give this a notch i mean i'm gonna glue it it's not gonna go anywhere but i was just wondering and i was thinking they could have made a notch here and notch here or two just like like this part and even with this one this side also does not have any notches so I was wondering why did they do that? Now, of course, this part is the same as this part. And these two are also the same, but... So I looked again at these and they did it because they're using the same parts for different trays. And because of that, I mean, making, making foam core inserts, you get a foam core sheet and you're not using lasers like with wooden uh, organizers. I mean, a wooden organizer, you have a sheet of wood and the laser just goes along its path, making whatever file you loaded, you know, whatever design you made. It can go anywhere. It can do whatever you want. And with this, they make a knife. So they have this metal knife that has a certain shape and it punches through the foam core but making these knives is expensive right it's like making a mold and so if you're designing an insert an organizer you want to be as efficient as possible so if you can make two sheets with the exact same knife which they did repeatedly <laughs> with this one i mean there's it's like there's four sets of two similar sheets everywhere and that's pretty clever because these two were the same as well they save out on a lot of production costs with with making those knives so i thought well this must probably have been a decision uh design wise so what i'm trying to say long story short is that there has been a lot of thought in making these cutouts making the pieces to create this organizer and i just love the engineering behind that that's just something i can really appreciate as an engineer <laughs> and that's just something i wanted to mention so uh, kudos <laughs> don't know if that helps anyone but i just wanted to say it
All right, so I've put everything together and I've put all my stuff in the boxes. Now, after having put everything together, you will notice that you have some parts left. And that is actually also indicated on the leaflet at the start here. Apparently the material, the foam core, is a lot cheaper than having a special extra knife made to save up on that. It does seem slightly, you know, wasteful to just have that much material left and just say, well, just toss that. So, you know, there's a, a tiny point of criticism. It could have been optimized. Now, that would probably have cost them more because they would have probably had to made, make another blade. But if that would have saved one sheet of material, I think that still would have been worth it. I mean, you know, environmentally wise, but having said that, everything has been assembled and it looks really great and stuff fits nicely, so I don't have to deal with this crappy insert anymore and the hundreds and hundreds of Ziploc bags that I had to use to, to sort everything, which was a nightmare. Which is, of course, fitting for the theme, but yeah. <laughs> so I'll take out this useless insert and there we go there's the box so first of all the instructions tell you to put all of the tiles in a corner so i took all the these bigger tiles and the half tiles and i made two equal stacks and i put them in the corner okay now i only have the core game Beyond the Threshold and Sanctum of Twilight. This should also fit Streets of Arkham and Horrific Journeys. I don't own those expansions, so I'm sorry I can't show you that. But uh, hey, they say it fits. I believe them. <laughs> so uh, once we have that inside, you take these two trays, which do not have a bottom. They just have reinforcements in the corners. And those go in here next to the tiles so we have those then we got this tray that has all of these monster bases and a medium sized bases has some slots here too uh, the tray or the, the instructions tell you that this tray holds the monster tiles and um, small medium monster bases so there's tiles for these two now I managed to put all the tiles in here um, to this tray so technically if I had those other two expansions this would probably be full and I'd have to take out the trays or the tiles for the bigger monsters and they fit in here so I could make a small stack there you know so you have this is basically your finger hole so you can take the tiles you can take the bases from all sides so nothing goes here I guess so you put that on top of the large monster tray. So next, this tray goes on top of the big tree as well. It just goes there. And then we have this tray here. It's a thinner tray that holds all the character boards. Now I sleeved most of them, but it seems to me that, well, if the expansions that I don't have each have two uh, extra cards it'll fit with sleeves otherwise it's best not to sleeve them and this is actually meant to hold those identification tokens there are six of them in the core game and I just put them all here and I put these key tokens there because there wasn't really a, a spot for those and these are all the uh, cupboard and wall tokens they're supposed to go in here so you put that on top there it's almost flush with the uh, with the box so then this goes on top of this and yeah this also holds the clue tokens as you have seen and this holds the several action tokens and these these lamp tokens the dice that goes on top here so that's nice and snug and then we have the rest of the box so First of all, you take these 
card tray, this card tray. So this has all the different trays here, uh, cards, I mean, with uh, these cards, these. So, uh, you know, the, the spells and the items that you have, these special items and these uh, conditions. So that goes here, that fits nicely. And next to that is another one of those monster trays and that is supposed to hold the medium monster figures. I don't think I have medium monster figures because I put all the rest in here. Maybe these are medium, I'm not sure. So, right. Let's see, so on top of that, you put this small tray and this is tray five and it says improvement and restraint tokens, which I do not have. So again, supposedly in one of the other expansions. And then let's see on top of that, you put these cards. So these are the health and the insanity cards. They call them, let's see, damage and horror cards, right? And they are all sleeved. Um, so it just fits with the two expansions that I have. So I'm not sure how many cards you will get. In the other two expansions, in uh, Streets of Arkham and Horrific Journeys, again, if that's a lot, then, then it won't fit sleeved cards. But as it is now, it still will hold about, I don't know, six or seven more sleeved cards. On top of the cards, you can put this token tray with all the character tokens, persons. And on top of that, which will close that tray at like a lid to keep the tokens inside, you put the investigator miniatures. And this has an edge, as you can see, this is flush with the box, and this is an edge for your booklets. So then this obviously can use a lot more tiles. So those two expansions will have tiles that I do not have not yet and this will will be raised up to here so that's quite a few tiles that you will get with those so that will be higher normally and then this goes here and this goes here okay and this has all the fire tokens i managed to fill two rows with just fire tokens and this has um the uh, these tokens and the trap doors and the barricades okay so that goes here which leaves a spot in the middle for smaller square tiles i presume so that should normally come up to there so that's pretty cool i did also have uh, cards uh, this is from the conversion kit so these are all the characters from the first edition which will not fit there and I have some of these as well from the first edition. I did buy the two um, boxes with miniatures from the first edition, which you can use with the conversion kit. But since that is not listed, that probably will not fit in there. I might put the tiles in there, but if I'm going to get those two expansions, then I'll have to find a different solution for those. But this is very impressive. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with how everything fits inside here. I mean, everything fits really nicely. So then, finally, the booklets. So let me start with the Learn to Play guide, which fits nicely here. And when this is raised again, it will fit snugly. The rules reference. And then these two leaflets does that fit like this yes don't have to fold them all right so that's barely still in place this seems to be a bit too big so i'll fold this put that in as well and then i'll just put this on top together with this just i i should have put that on the bottom which i will next time i open this box so then we can take the lid and close it up and there you go very handy i'm quite impressed i'm very impressed that everything from the core game and four expansions will fit in here makes the box rather heavy 
and with those two more expansions it will be even more heavy but it fits nicely and it's 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 flush that's incredible so uh, yeah a big thumbs up for the uh, folded space insert for Mansions of Madness second edition and so that was my review for the organizer by folded space for Mansions of Madness second edition uh, please people if you don't need to go out in these times don't go out stay at home build an insert play a board game enjoy yourselves try to meet people at an absolute minimum if you don't need to don't do it stay safe thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon if you want updates whenever i upload a new video thanks again and i'll see you next time on board game heaven